Good afternoon, dear children. So here today, let us start with the new chapter, the fun they had. Okay. So now let us read in this chapter what fun and who are having this fun. The fun they had is a scientific fiction story written by Isaac Asimov in nineteen fifty one. So please, children, you can underline this line. Very important. So. The fun they had. This is a science fiction story. Fiction means something very imaginative. Okay, now if this story is related to science, and it is an imaginative story written by Isaac Asimov in nineteen fifty one, the story takes place centuries in the future. So that means this story, though it was written in nineteen fifty one, it will take us. Centuries means hundreds of years in future. So, where what the situation will be in those times, where teaching is done by robots with vast information stores. So, we will see that teaching is done by the robots. Okay, and they have vast information with them. Means variety of information with them. So, but then at present, like we teachers. the human beings are teaching you but the author says that centuries after the robots will be doing the teaching so now children you can just imagine the situation that we are in in the pandemic situation so we are studying from home through online teaching so you might relate the story to our present situation a part of the story not of course the complete because no robot is teaching you all rather the teachers are only teaching the story takes place centuries in the future where teaching is done by robots with vast information stores two young friends tommy and margie find an old book about school what happens then so they have found one old book and then they are going to read that book and see that what exactly they are understanding okay so now here i start margie even wrote about it that night in her diary so that means so this is a sort of diary entry she is writing okay on the page headed 17th may Two thousand one hundred and fifty-seven. Please, uh, children, note down the year. What which year? Two thousand one hundred and fifty-seven. The story is taking place. She wrote today. Tommy found a real book. Now, what is this real book they are talking about? Let us see. It was a very old book. Margie's grandfather once said that. when he was a little boy his grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper now you just imagine these children are in the future and that is centuries after so the book that we all have at present that those type of books it is something different for them so they had found such a I means stone tommy had found uh, such type of book which they are terming it as real book it was very old book margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy his grandfather told him that there was a time when all the stories were printed on paper so that means margie's grandfather's grandfather when he was a little boy that time he had told that these uh, means margie's grandfather once told that when he was a little boy and then uh, that grandfather's grandfather had told him that long ago stories were printed on paper and that was in the form of a book so this is a very surprising thing for these children because they have never seen a book till now and so to get a book like this that all everything is printed on the book so that is a surprising thing for these children they turn the pages where which were yellow and crinkly 
so since the book had become very old so centuries old so it had turned yellow and crinkly you must have seen your grandmothers or grandfathers some books or the the god's books those bhagavad gita or bible which are very old they also must have turned yellow pages and then they must have turned crinkly crinkly means very easily they are tearing off or rather breaking off and it was awfully funny to read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to so that means for them they have never seen any book in their life and now they are seeing some words are printed and they are still they are not moving because these children are used to the computer screen where the words keep on moving or where the sentences or the lines they keep on moving but here in a book it is only still permanent and then they are not moving so that was a surprising thing for this tommy and margie so real word read words that stood still instead of moving the way they were supposed to on a screen you know so that means they are used to the reading on a screen and then when they turned back to the page before it had the same words on it that it had when they read it the first time so they are surprised that the words which they had read just now and then turned the page and if they turn back it again then they can find the same words which they had read and at the same particular page so nothing was moving so that was a surprising thing for these children gee said tommy what a waste when you are through with the book you just you just throw it away so now here tommy says that this kind of book is a waste because when i have read the story then what is the use of that story i can throw it away so why to keep it like that so he is saying that it is just a waste of the pages our television screen must have had a million books on it and it's good for plenty more i wouldn't throw it away so he is saying that our computer or the television screen had millions of books because everything is stored in that computer and it's good for plenty more that means more new books can be stored in that computer i wouldn't throw it away so then i cannot throw those books and i wouldn't like to throw it away also but these hundred these books which are printed after reading once it can be thrown off same with mine said margi she was 11 and hadn't seen as many tele books as tommy had so she is saying that same with mine i too have so many books in my computer and then uh, though she is younger to tommy and tommy is 13 years old whereas she is 11 years old she says that she was 11 and hadn't seen as many tele books as tommy had so tommy had seen more of tele books tele books means the books which are there on our television screen or rather you can uh, that would be much better that computer it is feeded in the computer she said where did you find it so now the book which they are holding the real book so now margi is interested and she asks tommy that where did you find this book so then tommy answers that in my house he pointed without looking so when he said this he did not even look at margi so he is more interested in reading the book because he was busy reading in the attic then he says that i found it in my house in the attic now what is an attic it is the room below the roof of the house and it is normally used to store the things whatever are not so necessary so he had found this book in the attic what's it about so margi asks this book is about what 
So then Tommy says it is about school. Margie was scornful. Scornful means disrespectful. She did not like the way actually Tommy was speaking to her. So she became little disrespectful and then she saying school. So now here she is surprised that what is this school? What is there to write about school? I hate school. So then she did not like school because according to her school was a different uh, thing and what we had our times that is the present time now what we are having this is different. So uh, her type of school she did not like. So she says that I hate school. Margie always hated school but now she hated it more than ever. So now here Margie did not like school and at present she hated it more. Now what is the reason why she hates her school now? The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test in geography and she had been doing worse and worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully and sent for the county inspector. So her teacher was going on giving test after test, especially her geography teacher and she did not perform well. And so now she was sad because of that. And um, uh, her mother then had uh, was uh, worried that her daughter is not performing well. What is the matter? And the tests are going on coming one after the other. So then uh, her mother had sent for the county inspector. Now who is the county inspector? According to the story, county inspector is the person who comes to repair the computer screen that they are having as their teacher. Okay. So children, I stop over here. In my next video, I will continue from the next paragraph. Okay. And I want you all to go through the chapter till where I have explained today so that you can understand if any doubt you can clear it in the class or through WhatsApp. Okay. So thank you and have a wonderful day.